first, um, how do you prefer to be called? Uh, how do you pronounce your names? Muhammad. Muhammad. Jihan. Jihan. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. This is Olivia Reynolds interviewing Jihan and Muhammad on October 28th, 2018 for the Denison University Oral History Digital uh, Collection Project on Arab Americans in Central Ohio. Uh, Jihan is going to talk about life in the U.S. as an Arab American. Okay, um, I like the life here as an Arab American. It's a great country. Um, uh, I first came here in uh, 1985. I was a student in the dental school in Egypt. And then um, I came here. Um, I had a relative here, my sister. Then I met my husband. And then I went back to uh, Egypt to finish the, the dental school. I was commuting back and forth. My husband was here, and I was, you know, going back and forth between here and Egypt. Um, I um, liked I liked a lot living here because, um, like, it's the American dream, and uh, I wanted to uh, come to the country that I've uh, heard a lot about, and um, like the quality of life, the equality, um, everything here. I like actually. I came back, uh, I came here in 1978, I came from uh, Jerusalem, and when I came back here, uh, I was going to, my, my main concern was to finish school, to go to college, educate myself and return. And when I came here, I uh, find the life, it's very, uh, there's lots of opportunities, and the life is different than our countries. There's a lot of good qualities here. The people, when they can work, they can produce. There's a lot of productivity here. And there's uh, the opportunities here. It's the land of opportunity. We enjoy it. We like it a lot. We live in comfortable here. And uh, we became part of the system. When you live here for a long time, you should be part of the system. You pay your dues. We do the right things, and nothing is possible. We achieve our goals, and we got married in 1985, me and my wife. We have three children, and we enjoy being here. The life is good here. Uh, كنت في إجازة الإجازة الصيفية وكانت أختي عايشة هون وحبيت أجي أشوف أمريكا إنه يعني البلد اللي سمعت عنها كثير كنت حابة إني أجي هون أشوفها. I'm the same way always when I was young and a kid in school. It's my dream to come to America. It's always been a dream to me. And when I came here, I find it. As I said, the land of opportunity. You can produce, you can work, you can achieve your goals. And uh, it's safe for us. It's, it's very peaceful. The people is very nice. We enjoy it. We enjoy being here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's the life here is a little bit different because the social life is different. And back in Palestine, it's more of the social life than here. Here, because you work, you go to work every day. And, uh, You know, it's uh, when you wanna 
we can meet only in gathering or some occasions. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't feel much different in the our uh, like you know our holidays and Ramadan because we have a very large community here and also we have a large family members here and so we feel just to practice our uh, tradition the same almost the same there's not much yeah. difference we can adapt to it you know gotcha. so how do you stay the same um like the same people that you were in in like in your native countries uh but being a part of the system as you said like how do you keep doing what you used to do or like what is like close to your heart but being a part of the system but it's well. fine it's in the heart we never forget our mm -hmm. countries our country is, is great we are part of it. Mm -hmm. We feel fortunate to have two countries. We claim this our country and mm -hmm. this also is our country. And uh, we keep in touch with the families every year. Mm -hmm. We go back home. We visit the family members. I take the wife and the kids almost every year mm -hmm. or sometimes two years. And so we keep in touch. We're very close to our families back home. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I travel twice a year there. And so we'll keep our kids uh, back and forth so they can always maintain the relationship mm -hmm. with, the, with the motherland, with our countries. And they continue to keep our tradition. We have a lot of good values which is not founded in other societies. So we have lots of good values. We try to incorporate our good values to what we learn from here. We learn a lot from here. Mm -hmm to come up with one good value, so we're always trying to be, you know, uh, good people. What are the differences between Muslims and Muslims in America? Not the Arab countries. بحس انه في يعني شوية عدم نظام يعني you know, هون بحس في نظام كتير يعني في كتير عدل you know, we all hear about you know, what's happening right now and, <laughs> and you know, about that journalist that he said that you know, he expressed his opinion and you know, what happened to him and this is uh, like part of the, like, you know, living in the Arab country, you always worry about expressing your opinion and what can happen to you. But uh, here, like, you know, you can say whatever you want to say and you, you don't feel threatened. You know, I like the freedom here, you know, freedom of speech, you know, you know justice and the quality of life. You know? yeah. It's the same way. <clears throat> uh, the difference between here and our countries, we the accessibility of things, the availability of things, the judicial system is justice. Uh, you can speak your opinion, you could get your message across without being worried about you're going to be convicted or slain or something happened to you. And uh, uh, the cleanliness of the country, the, the, everything is easy. And if you do the right things, you you won't have much issues. But what what are um, good things that you miss, or like, like good miss. differences that you miss? Uh, I guess uh, like social life. I think it's mm -hmm. it's uh, it's really I miss that. We try here, but you know I think it's like because of the distance of between everything here and like the work hours, you don't get to see people as much as you do. Uh, over there, also family uh, like ties and stuff like that. So this is what I miss about uh, Egypt and our countries, you know, the social life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we miss being with the families, with the being in your country and being raised there. <coughs> you always want to see your family and your friends and all that. So this one, this we missed it, but we try to keep up with it whether it's through the social media or the phone on the phones or go visit them uh, but that's uh, that's the way it is yeah there's a lot of good things you know that and back home in our countries like uh, you know the um the culture the the food the people are like really kind and stuff like that 
you know. But over here too, you know, we we found the same values and things like that. We are able to live, you know, the way we want to. So we didn't lose anything by living here. Yeah. We adapt the culture here, part of the culture. I wouldn't say we adopt the thing, but we adapt part of it. And we have lots of good friends. We communicate with them all the time. We visit with them. And uh, we found out, as I said, if you became uh, an important person in the country, you should do the right things. We work just like everybody else. We try to go by the law, not to do the wrong stuff. And we keep our friends. We visit with them. We join them in their events. We also uh, contribute to the public officials. And uh, we have great relationship with the local government, even through to Washington. We have met, you know, uh, lots of these important people here also, like the governors, the mayors. We hold events for them also. And uh, we focus on keeping the, the right things for us and our children. But we feel like to come from that country to this country, you should be just like an ambassador. You are the face of the country. And uh, you want to change the image where lots of people in the past, they have the image about the Middle Eastern people, negative stereotyping. We here, just like everybody else, we're trying to show the, the best picture of our country. We are human. We have the rights, just like everybody else. With several people, and uh, that's about it. So you mentioned that you keep going back and forth between Jordan, Palestine, and Egypt. Yes. Could you tell us some of the things that you notice in terms of the changes that happen back home, on there's, the social level, on the political level, on the economic levels? There's a lot of changes. When I came back in '78, the you know, back uh, this year. We felt the people there, they were more honest in all countries. And uh, that's in Palestine? In Palestine, within Palestine, Jordan. And things has changed. The people now, it's uh, the struggle to make the living. The life, the current situation over there, it's a little bit difficult. The people not living very comfortable like here. And uh, everything has changed. Everything. The, I would say there's a lot has been changed and we wish they were kind of like still the same. The, the honesty of the people, the mentality has changed. Lots of the Middle Eastern people now, they want to copy the American mentality, especially the young generation, and they're doing it in the wrong ways. They, I wish they would come like, you know, figure it out it, to better, but they're trying to copy some other stuff and it doesn't, it's, it's not good. That's I know it's a bunch of that stuff when I was traveling back and forth. Uh, yeah, I would say yes, there is a, a lot more people, but and also the economy is not as good. So people are struggling and you know the quality of life I guess it's you know it's not what it used to be. I guess uh, economy has to do a lot with it. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people under a lot of pressure, lots of pressure here. And when the people come, like, you know, pressured, like uh, they don't have the money to do what they want or to live good, it can create uh, uh, a lot of troubles. Mm 